this is your love reading for April 21st through the 27th. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I am sorry that it's so late. One day I'll get to be more consistent. I don't know when that's going to be. Um, hopefully one day. So since this is a love reading, I do recommend checking your Moon and Venus signs as well. I know I personally resonate more with my Venus sign when it comes to love readings. So just an FYI, um, as always, this isn't going to resonate for all of you, so don't try to force it if it doesn't. If everything is fine in your relationship and this turns out to be a shitty reading, don't get paranoid. Don't take it and run with it. It's not your reading, okay? All right, so your overall energy, I use the Magdalene Oracle for my overall. You have the secret, and I do apologize. It's going to be dark, and you're barely going to be able to see the cards, but I read better in the dark, so yeah, it is what it is, you know? The secret for your overall energy. All right. Someone will soon confide in you and the information they divulge may shock or disturb you. You may feel torn between the loyalties you have for two people and this creates a dilemma for you. What is the right thing to do? Should you divulge the information or stay silent? In your heart, you will know. Ultimately, you must be true to yourself or only in doing so can you be true to others. Revealing the truth will definitely cause upheaval. But eventually, as things settle down, your honesty and courage will be appreciated. Don't dwell on feelings of guilt. Express what is in your heart, for a hidden blessing is in store for all. As a result of the coming events, both you and others will feel a sense of relief. There are positive results for all concerned. However, there can only they can only be actu blah, 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 actualized through your courage and love. So, hmm, secret. What's the secret, Libra? All right, let's see what we got. So your recent past, you have the Wheel of the Year or the Wheel of Fortune. So this is, it's faded, it's destiny, it's like the universe, like something's turning around in your favor, right? Um, it's a push from the universe. It's like good luck. So cool. Your present energy, you have the King of Wands. This is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could be dealing with one or you could just be taking on this energy yourself or dealing with someone that is. Um, so the King of Wands is awesome. Super passionate, super creative. Um, he knows exactly what he wants and he goes after it and he gets it and he doesn't do it in like an asshole kind of way, you know, not stepping all over everyone to get what he wants. Like he's just confident and knows what he wants and knows that he can get it. Um, very sexual. I don't know if I said that already, but definitely. So cool, guys. Your immediate future, you have the Ace of Wands. Lots of fire, guys. The Ace of Wands is a new beginning. Now, whether this is a new beginning, like a whole new relationship, or just kind of like a rebirth in one, <clears throat> it's very passionate, very fast-moving, once again, very sexual. This wand right here is a phallic symbol, if you didn't already know that. Um, wands are very sexual energy, very passionate, very fast moving. Um, so, yeah. If you're not already in a relationship, there is one coming and it's going to be super hot. If you're already in one, then it's just going to get more passionate. You're probably going to have a good week. <laughs> All right. Now, what is your potential obstacle in a relationship or a potential relationship? If there is an obstacle, you have the Six of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Money could be an issue. Um, you know, finances, like equal give and take. Somebody may be putting in more effort than the other one. Somebody may be um, contributing more financially than the other one. And, and that's ca kind of causing blockages. Like you may be too focused on money. Um, that it's led to like a lack of passion, but that's not, that's not what's going on right now. There's definitely passion happening right now. Okay. All right. Let's clarify. Um, let's clarify the secret. What is this shit guys? Clarify the secret for Libra. Okay, um, the Emperor, do you guys know an Aries with a secret? <laughs> do you know a secret about an Aries? Um, again, you have a lot of fire here and you have the Aries card. So 
you might just, um, there might be some kind of secret about an Aries person that you know you might be dealing with an Aries that has a secret. Um, there might be a secret involving someone's gosh it could be anything with the emperor because the emperor kind of has it all whether it's a secret about someone's job home marriage finances love life whatever the emperor has it all so um it, it could you could definitely have an aries around you though because there's so much fire here it's ridiculous let's clarify the king of wands for you Clarify the King of Wands for Libra. Clarify the King of Wands for Libra. Wow, more wands, guys. Two of wands. This is a crossroads. You're having... um. Something you need to make a decision on to pick your past card. So you have a decision to make and you're super passionate about it and it's gonna happen fast. Um, could have something to do with a secret that you found out or a secret that you may have. Um, but whatever's happening for you, man, it's happening fast. Like almost all your energy here is fire and you, you're not fire. So, wow guys. Um, let's clarify the Ace of Wands for you. Oh, shit. All right, well, they're giving us two, so we're just going to deal with it. All right, so you have strength. You could be dealing with a Leo. Again, Leo's fire. Um, or you could just be, you know, super confident, super strong with this new beginning that you have here. Um, you're going into this new beginning or this kind of like a rebirth of an existing relationship with a whole lot of confidence, a whole lot of strength, a whole lot of passion. Um, and <coughs> you also have the three of pentacles. That's the other one that came out with it. So it's, it's, you know, working together, working with someone. I don't see it as a third party situation in this instance because everything else is so good. Um, there is that secret card there though. So it is possible. I don't see it though. I don't see it that way. Um, let's clarify this two of wands for you. We already have the king of wands on one side of it. Let's see what's on the other side. What is this other path? Um, wow, okay. Two of pentacles. That's two twos in a row, guys. You really needing to make a decision on something. You might need to, with the two of pentacles, that's a juggling. You might need to drop something that you're doing that um, might be getting to be too much for you. Like, you know, it might be overwhelming. You might need to drop something. But the two of pentacles is kind of all, all about balance, keeping everything that you do in balance. Like, it's not a bad card. It's not juggling in a bad way. But it could potentially get overwhelming. I'm going to clarify again because you have two twos here. Clarify the two of pentacles and the two of wands for Libra. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, the Empress. You now have the Emperor and the Empress both in your reading. That's fucking amazing. That is like, oh, wow. Wow. You don't get a better couple than these two, all right? This is an awesome couple. It's it's divine union, right? It's soulmates. And I hesitate saying that because a lot of people like take it and run with it. Um, so let me just clarify real quick. When I say soulmates, I don't think that there's one soulmate for everyone. I don't think that there's one person that you're meant to be with. I think we have many soulmates, a whole soul family, hundreds, thousands, whatever. Um, they could be somebody that you are with for a day. They could be somebody you're not ever with that you just meet, you know, um, or they could be someone that you're with forever. It's completely irrelevant. It's just an important relationship where you both learn and grow. Um, and in my belief system, it's someone, you know, that you reincarnate with through many lifetimes and you take on different roles in different lives to help each other evolve, right? 
So it's one of those relationships and it's really super important with the emperor and the empress here. Now, take the couple part out of it and just take the empress as the clarifier. So there may be, um, somebody could be pregnant, somebody could be pondering getting married. Um, there's definitely with the emperor and the empress here, There's it looks like a husband-wife situation um, and a potential for a baby. FYI, if you are not trying to get pregnant, I would be careful. Okay? Um, let's get your advice. I have to show you something else. <laughs> as soon as I pull a second advice card here. Advice for Libra. Okay, so now what I want to show you, the first advice card that I pulled that I haven't shown you yet because I do that at the end is the Queen of Wands. Remember, you have the King of Wands in your present you now have two couples here you have the king of queen you have the king and queen of wands and you have the emperor and the empress that is so ridiculously amazing i can't even fully describe it to you <laughs> it's awesome guys like this is whoever you're with or whoever you're trying to get with that's a really awesome relationship okay so with the queen of wands as an advice card it's same thing as the king of wands does you know be confident. Go after what you want. Know that whatever's happening here, you have the drive. You have the energy. You have the ambition to get it. Um, you just have to stay her. You have to stay that person. And I don't mean stay her like... You don't have to be female watching this video to, to take on the Queen of Wands energy. If you know, you know what I mean? That's just what's on the cards. It's not gender specific. Just take on that energy. Go after what you want. Know that you're going to get it because you're badass. Um, and keep that in mind. Just don't lose your confidence. And your other advice card is the Hierophant. This is Taurus energy. I don't really think that the signs make a difference when they're in the advice position, but FYI, if it means something to you, um, that's commitment. It's spiritual values, traditional values. It could even be going back to school. It, I mean, I know this is a love reading, but if you're pondering going back to school, that would be a yes. Do it. If you're pondering getting married, yeah, that's a yes. Um, okay, so I don't know what the secret is, but I don't think it's a bad one, Libra. It looks like a really good reading here. You just have some decisions to make. Um, you just need to keep your confidence about you when you do it. All right, take care.